Moody is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ohio State's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps them go. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the defense just has the answers. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Fires it out. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. some open field. Makes it out to about the 40. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 26 yard line. He'll get it again. He's taken down at the 26. That brings up second and nine. Nice run up the middle. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. To his tight end, nothing doing. Michigan could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Michigan's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. The defender has... And then dropped it. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He gets to about the 34-yard line. He 
He's hit and taken down. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Here they come. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. That's a game of 17 on the play. First down. He's tackled at the 27. They go to the left for a nice game. He's taken down around the 15-yard line. I thought there was a chance he'd be brought down before getting to the marker. It was a great effort there to get beyond for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Run left side. And they make the stop around the six yard line. It's second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. Nice move, and he scores. Nice grab by the halfback for the touchdown. It was a short throw for the quarterback, but not easy. He made that play work. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7-3. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He fights forward to about the 26. Not much there for the tailback on the option. caught and he's brought down quickly and now he pitches it and he makes it out to about the 34 yard line the option gets him a yard at best that'll bring up fourth and one Hart to punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He dropped it. Brought down at the 24-yard line. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 24. Ohio State is up by four. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle right around the 26-yard line. He 
he's under pressure. And they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Booming kick. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The Buckeyes are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. He rifles it. Caught with room to work. Touchdown, Wolverines. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. And he hits the PAT. Michigan is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 36-yard line. Here's a running play. He's at midfield. Brought down with only one man to beat. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. There he goes. Nice run to the outside. That's a deep four. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 39. And here's another third down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. Inside the 10, makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. Well, he found some daylight and took off for six. And he adds the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Exciting first quarter comes to an end. 14-10, Ohio State. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. defense did tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. That'll make it fourth and ten. McCall, back to return it. Oh, excellent punt. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ohio State is up four. He tackles him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled at the 40. been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. He is drilled at the 43-yard line. Close to nine-yard pickup there on the slant. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made at the 36. Fires out to his receiver. Picks up the loose ball. Got some open field. He's at the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown, Bucks! And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After, After review, review of the play, play. 
replay. The ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. He makes his way to about the 22. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Puts on a move, touchdown! So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. He scrambled. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. Call again, seven yards. That makes it first and ten. The senior makes the catch. That's a team of four in the ball. That makes it second and two. Mike 12, Mike 12. Easy, easy, easy. Q, 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 Q. Next one. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's a six-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. From the 15, he's tackled at the 24. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Michigan has a three-point lead. Taken down in the backfield. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. They're about four yards away here on third down. Ready, 180. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. Hart awaits the snap. McCall fields it at the 24, and down he goes at the 30. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they make the stop at about the 31. Decent pickup. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 27-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Michigan is up by three. Just throws this one away. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. Catches it, and that's all. Good possession there for the defense. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. Hart is waiting for the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 27. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down at the 33. That'll make it second and four. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Let's it fly. This one will fall incomplete. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second half. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Heading for the corner. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Michigan is up a field goal. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at about the 49. And they may need to hurry here. Well, you'd think so, but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field right now. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10.
He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. Michigan's got a three-point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talked about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. and. You know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best season house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Michigan holds a field goal lead. It's the tailback, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The 39 yard line. Let's go! go. Red, stand away! Stand away! 68! He gives it to the back. He fights forward to about the 39. No game. That brings us second and nine. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 40. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. Going deep. He gets another, and this is a big one. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Michigan has a three-point lead. And he tackles him hard at the two. And they pick up two yards. Very good job of coverage on the play. 
The freshman receiver made a nice play, but there was no room for him to run after the catch. Look at the scramble now. He can't get away from the pressure. Total loss of seven yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Moody has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line. Down he goes at the 40. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 39. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's scrambling, and they got him. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Booming kick. Nice yardage on the run back. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Has some daylight. <laughs> Got hit and still completed it. They'll knock him down for a loss. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that drive. McCall is the deep man awaiting the return. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. 
Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Caught with room to work. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. And they got him for a loss. The option is all about timing. And on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. behind the line you know these backwards plays can have a psychological impact it can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening we've got third and 12 ball on their own 18 let's go he wants it all makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds big play right there He's wrapped up for the sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of him. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Let's go. Rose and it's knocked away. Number one breaks up the pass. Fourth down. This punt, if he gets it where he wants it, can really change the field position of this football game. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. He scrambled. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Here's the handoff, man. He's taken down for a loss. Pass incomplete. 
And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. This is a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Set. Oklahoma. Cut. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up third and two. He's on the run. He gets out to about the 44 yard line. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Has all day to throw. Tackle at the 37. Fights forward to about the 33. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and ten. So at the end of three, Michigan leads it 24-14. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Ready! Green 19! Green 19! And a quick throw. He's at the 20. He's tackled around the 15-yard line. to his tight end. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Set up, Brought down just outside the goal line. Touchdown, Wolverines! Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he hits the PAT. An 11 play, 69 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Michigan gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down.
Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the 42. That makes it second and 10. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And down he goes, right around the 46 yard line. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Throw, he caught it. Tackle made at the 47 yard line. He goes downtown. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down right around the 30. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 27. Come out in a five wide set. Pass complete and taken down immediately. He's under pressure. And they make the stop around the 18 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. That makes it second and two. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the five. That's good for a gain of five yards. And here's the 14th play of the drive. They'll get him for a loss. Complete touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A long 15 play, 75 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Ohio State to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This senior quarterback's having a great game, Kirk. Well, he really has. You know, this is the kind of guy that's a, just a perfect fit for this system. This team's really going to miss him down the road starting next year. And the thing that's really helped him here is his decision-making continues to be consistent. It's allowing this offense to move the ball down the field and put the ball into the end zone. And to be sticking it to a rival is even more special. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And 
he's tackled after positive yardage. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. throw to the tight end and he's level at the 44. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. On the run right side. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That brings him second and five. He's on the run. The ball is loose. Scoops it up. Tackle around the 45-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Complete. He's got room. He's out of bounds at the 38-yard line. That makes it second and two. Takes a hand up, but brought down before he could go anywhere. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws it in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, first down. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The Buckeyes taking their first time out of the half. Tackled after a decent pickup. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no-huddle attack. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Nice run there. A gain of about four yards on the draw. So the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout. Kicks away. And the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Hey, we've seen some crazy things over the years in college football. You never know what could happen. If the offense can score in a hurry, you never know here late in this game. He sails it long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. Seven yards there. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Just under two to go in the game. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 33-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. run and he's brought down and 
and he tackles him hard at the 29. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second and now it's second and long after the penalty. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Caught, and he's hit immediately. He wants it all. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. They put some points on the board in their last drive, and they'll start this one in position to do much of the same. The defense has their backs against the wall here. They're really going to have to get aggressive if they want to keep the offense from scoring any points here. And the ball game's over. The Wolverines take this one, 34-21. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action of this one? Michigan came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.